Hey, what is going on everyone? Ice Pop here, bringing you another giant unboxing video on my channel. Last time we unboxed the rocket launcher Galahorn from Destiny. Today, we have the PlayStation 5. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on this console. I'm sure many of you have as well, or maybe still are. So last night, I was out at dinner with my family, and one of my buddies texted me saying, bro, there's one more PS5 at Target. Do you want it? And I was like, um, yes. So I've been waiting this whole time, waiting to see if there was gonna be a Spider-Man limited edition version of the PlayStation 5, or maybe a Slim or a Pro, just because it's been out for a while. But all of those seem unlikely, especially the Spider-Man one. Uh, someone tweeted at, Insomniac, the game developer, and they confirmed there wasn't going to be a limited edition Spider-Man one. So I thought I might as well get a PlayStation 5 now. Had to go with the hard disk drive because I'm a big fan of physical discs. So we're going to set that circle sticker over here. I'm going to try to keep everything in this box. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Change of plans. See if I can do this one-handed while holding my camera. Opening it for the first time. Oh, that's kind of cool. It all folds up like that. This is the little handle that I got to carry it out of the store or oh, I might have to slide the whole thing out. I think this is just a shell. Hang on, everybody. So I'm a really big fan of boxes. So I'm going to try to be very careful with this. I want to display it in my room one day or wherever. I'm not too sure. I want to have an entertainment center eventually where I got my PS3 box. I don't know if I have my PS2 in anymore. Definitely don't have a PS1 box, but I do have a PS1. I got like two PS4 ones because I got a launch day PS4 and I was one of those who had the blue screen of death, if you know what that is. Sorry. <laughs> or if you've never experienced it, then good for you. You had a good PlayStation. They had issues at the beginning. But looking right now, there's a PlayStation logo on the top. I'll go ahead and grab the camera in just a moment. Yeah, I'm just gently going to keep this on the floor. It is just a shell. This appears to be the big shebang, the PlayStation logo. With the handle being here, I want to say, okay, so there's a little spot right here, a little tab, just carefully slide out. Again, I'm a collector. I want to keep all this in good shape. Looks like we're just going to have to slightly lift something out and then pull out yet another sleeve. I'm glad they're being very protective with this $500 game console. Really appreciate that. So I'm going to actually move my camera back so you can see the sliding out stuff. Lots of camera work for this one. So we got yet another sleeve to pull out. Looks like there's a tab. Actually, that just might lift right out. Let me go ahead and turn this so you can see. I'm gonna pull on this tab. Looks like this whole unit should come out. Oh, there's just stuff on the top. So off the get go, we have a PlayStation Quick Start manual. All this stuff, if you're gonna read how to, you know, Safety guide. And looking further, we have what appears to be the part of the power cable. It's just missing the brick right there on the top. And then, oh, right away, we got the dual sense controller. Now for a better perspective of taking this out of this nice wrapping, a nice, clean, brand new dual sense. Let me know what you think of the look in the comments below. Honestly, I kind of thought this was a weird look holding it. I have some buddies who have PlayStation 5s, but I've never really like held a controller like this before. It doesn't feel as like, I thought these like pieces stood out a lot more than they really do. I probably shouldn't have pressed that button. <laughs> it's going to look for a PlayStation 5 that isn't actually on yet. The buttons have like this like in depth, it might be hard to come up on camera. Instead of like something on the top layer, it's like glossy and then the face button like decal is like underneath. So it's got this really cool 3D depth looking button layout. Feels pretty good. Feels a bit different from the DualShock 4 that I'm so used to over all these years. Triggers feel nice. These are apparently um, designed to have like resistance and stuff when you game and shoulder buttons are just, just clicky like normal. Good clicks there. Yeah, pretty solid. And it's got a headphone port at the bottom. And then this is the back of the controller. Not too bad. Setting all that off to the side, let's see what else we got in this box. Looks like when we lift this off, I'm guessing the console should show up pretty soon. Maybe I should just try sliding all of this out all at once. Is there anything else? Oh, there actually is. Underneath this flap where some of the stuff was like the paperwork. I think this is the PlayStation stand itself. 
I take it out of the sleeve here. Yeah, I think this is the stain for the PS5. So I didn't expect it to be this kind of shape. I don't know what I expected. It looks like the console will have a little bit of a contour shape there. Got some, I don't know why it's so, there's like a gap here. I don't know if it comes up while on camera. There's like a space in here. Not sure what this is for. It almost looks like it hooks onto something. We'll find out later. I think this is the PS5 stand. And I think it's designed to both support it upright and horizontally. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll set it off to the side as well. And that I think appears, no, nope, hang on. There's another cable tucked away right back in here. Under this flap, there was this. I'm guessing this is the controller cable. It looks like a USB-C. Like I was saying, this appears to be USB-C that plugs into the controller, a USB, I don't know, standard that plugs into perhaps the console and you have your phone wall chargers. So that'll probably go with the controller. And finally, I think that is it with this whole shebang. There's a lot packed into this little unit. Also within this box, I forgot to show this off. Apparently under this flap, sorry for the noise, is the HDMI cable from the PlayStation to your TV. So yeah, that was in there as well as a little thing in there from before. So yeah. And then it looks to be the last portion is the console itself. So after all this time, finally, we are getting into the console. It's gonna grab it here. It looks pretty well secured. Uh, these little handle flaps are a little bit in the way. There we go, ease it out. That appears to be the bulk of the weight. Yep. There is nothing else in the box. That is it. I'm gonna set that on the floor. And now we have the PlayStation 5 itself, taking it out of this protective casing unit. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna unfold it a little bit like a Christmas present. Pretty awesome. Yeah, this is super well wrapped. They wanted to make sure there was no scratches. Make sure there's no bumps and bruises in transportation. And there we have it. The PlayStation 5. The disc version, the not symmetrical version, but the kind you can play physical games, you can borrow, buy used ones from game stores. That looks awesome. I'll go ahead and grab my camera and change the view in just a moment. Wow. I really like the indentation of the PlayStation logo right there. That's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I'll get you a better view of this in just a moment. Like I said, we got the disc version. I think that's so much better than digital. If you have a PlayStation 5, let me know also. Lots of questions in the comments below. Let me know which version you have. I am always a physical disc person. I have a lot of game stuff I have on my channel, retro review, lots of videos where I like the games. I don't want to be limited to a digital only version. But it looks like all the plugs are just in the back of the console. Pretty standard, assume that would be the case. There's the top of the glossy clean console and then this side casing as well. Honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of the look of the PS5. I think after just purchasing it, I kind of like it more, but still not the biggest fan of the look. Looks kind of cool. Looks like if Back to the Future made a futuristic console, this is what it would look like to be honest. But I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think of the PlayStation 5 design in the comments below. And if you have one, what version you have, and if you're looking for one, what one you would like. All right, everyone, there we have it. That has been the unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video.